morning. Go on a date with me today. <laughs> So for my outfit today, I'm wearing this coat from Fury and this cute scarf from Buji that I got in Korea last year. My jeans are from Korea that I got a couple of years ago. And underneath the coat, I'm wearing this cropped black blazer from Helmut Lang and this Heat Tech um, Uniqlo turtleneck because it's pretty cold outside. <laughs> for my bag, I'm wearing my Oak and Fort tote. I'm wearing these rings that are a mix of vintage rings and um, rings that I got in Korea. And then for my set today, I decided to wear non-fiction forget-me-not and I feel like it's the perfect per museum out and about set for the winter or fall. Whoa, let me get that back in focus. It's a little musky. It leans a little bit more on the feminine side, but it's definitely unisex. I love this scent and it lasts a really long time. When you first spray it though, the black pepper notes are pretty strong, but once it settles down after like 15-20 minutes, it smells amazing. So that's with that's why I went with today. And for my shoes, I'm just going to be wearing white sneakers. So I will see you all later. Bye!
So I spent around two hours at the Cloister Museum and I really enjoyed it. The architecture is just so beautiful and the gardens were all super beautiful too. I spent a lot of time just sitting there soaking in the sun, enjoying the beautiful architecture and reading, journaling a little bit. Um, and now I am just walking around the park because a lot of people actually recommended to spend some time at the museum and then uh, take a walk around the park because it's all so beautiful. It's super snowy right now, but it's still really pretty. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do before I head home and hopefully I can head home before rush hour. I'm back from the museum and I was feeling quite famished so I drank a protein shake and let myself recuperate a little bit because I was very shaky on the train ride back but I told myself that I was going to run today and so I'm dressed up in my running clothes I'm gonna try and go on a at least three mile run I'm gonna aim for four to five miles but my body was feeling very weak earlier today, so if I need to stop any sooner than that, then I'm just going to go ahead and stop. But I just want to keep my commitment to myself, and I'm feeling pretty good after that protein shake. So I'm going to run and start training for the half marathon. Okay, I'll see you all later. Bye. So I'm done with my run now. I ran four miles. And then I went grocery shopping. I'll show you the haul when I get home, but oh my god, I look like an egghead right now. Hello, I'm back from my run. I ran four miles in like 32, 33 minutes. So my time got a little worse, but it's okay. Because right now my focus isn't speed, it's distance. And I'm trying to get to like maybe six miles by next week. Um, eventually the goal is 13, 14 miles because the half marathon is a little over 13 miles. But on my way back home, I went grocery shopping um, to cook myself some dinner tonight and also a dessert for like an air fryer basque cheesecake recipe that I saw on Instagram Reels. So I'm very excited for that. Um, so I got some Greek yogurt, cream cheese, vanilla sugar flavoring, lamian instant noodles. This is going to be my dinner because this is my comfort meal and I saw it and I could not resist today. And I also got these Olipop cream sodas um, to eat with my dinner tonight. I love this. It's so freaking good. Like the other flavors are a little questionable, I think. The orange soda one is good, but the cream soda one is my favorite. And I also got some eggs because I'm running out. So I'm gonna wash up, shower, and I'll see you guys for dinner.
gonna spray the parchment paper with just so nothing sticks in there and let's hope for the best oh gosh that's quite quite chunky but it's okay. you know what it's okay On the bright side, I'm pretty sure all the batter is going to fit in here. There's actually quite a lot of space, so I won't have to do multiple batches. Okay, so the recipe said to put it in for 200 degrees Celsius or 392 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. So I'm going to lower the temperature to 300 92 or 90 and leave that in for 15 minutes and then we'll check on it now it's the moment of Whoa. okay to be honest i don't know if that's done or not it looks done but i'm gonna let this cool a little bit and then we will dig in i'm so excited So I put it in the air fryer for another 10 minutes and let me do a jiggle test. Okay, now it actually looks ready. It rose a lot in height. Um, I'm going to let it cool while I do the dishes and then I'll be back. Okay, so the cheesecake is mostly cool. I know I'm supposed to wait like a couple of hours for it to fully cool, but... I cannot wait anymore, okay? I've waited like two hours and it's keeping its shape this time. Okay, I'm gonna wash this. But it's keeping its shape and even if it's a little warm, it's okay. It's already 8.25 and I have to sleep soon because I have a 9 a.m. workout class tomorrow. So you know what? Even if it's not fully cooled, I'm just gonna have a little piece. Maybe a little more. And I'll be able to enjoy it again tomorrow when it is fully cooled. But in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy the semi-warm cheesecake and call it a night. Mmm! Hello again. So, this is my cheesecake. I ate some of it, so that's why I only have a tiny piece left, but... I think I added a little too much Greek yogurt. Other than that, it is delicious. But if I make this again, I'll definitely add less Greek yogurt because I think it's, or maybe it's because it's still warm. Um, that's why it's not as set as it could be, but mm, it's so good. And it pairs perfectly with um, tea. I'm drinking peppermint tea, but I think it'll be even better tomorrow when it's fully cooled down and set. And with black coffee. Mm. I was gonna drink milk with it, but I have an early Pilates class, so I'm lactose, intol lactose intolerant and I didn't want to risk anything. But just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on the air fryer cheesecake i would say it's a semi-success um i'm definitely gonna try making it again but i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next video bye <laughs>